Hey worship leader, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you everything you need to know about the coolest guitar effect around, and that's overdrive. Stick around. So I think I'm starting a new series. Last month I posted a video called Reverb Essentials and it seemed to be a very helpful video for people. So I thought it would be helpful to make a couple videos on key guitar effects to help you understand and grasp what they do. So today we are diving into the world of overdrive. But before we do that, I have a question for you. What should be the next video in the series? Let me know in the comments below. I want to serve y'all the best I can with what I know. So what is overdrive? Overdrive is an effect that takes your original guitar tone and distorts it. Does that sound like a bad idea? Well, it's not. It's actually really great. Overdrive adds grit. It can make your tone sound bigger or more intense or even creamier if that's what you're into. It all depends on how you go about shaping your tone. There are several effects that will accomplish this distortion to varying degrees, and they're all on a spectrum. First, you have clean boost at the low end, and then you move into overdrive, and then you get into actual distortion and over to fuzz, which is really fun to play with. You should definitely get a fuzz pedal if you have the chance. But today we are talking about overdrive because that is what is most commonly used in worship music. And as you can tell by the name of the channel, this is a worship leading channel. So I'm going to walk you through how to dial in an overdrive pedal. But before we do that, I need to explain to you two different types of overdrive pedals. First, we have classic overdrive and then we have transparent overdrive. Transparent overdrive emphasizes the natural tone of your guitar and your amp emphasizing what's already there. Think sprinkling salt onto a delicious ribeye steak. Mmm, yummy. On the other hand, classic overdrive colors your tone and shapes it into a new sound. Think smothering your delicious steak with a mushroom marsala sauce. Still yummy, just a completely different meal. I have two pedals here that fall into these two categories. First up, we have the Love Pedal Eternity Fuse. This is more like a classic overdrive pedal, even though with the right settings, you can get a transparent sound. And second, we have the Emerson Custom M Drive, which if you notice, says transparent overdrive right on the pedal. As you can see, there are a lot of terms on just these two pedals. We have level, drive, volume, and gain. But what do all these terms mean? Well, really there are only two effects. Volume is to level as gain is to drive. Gain and volume can seem similar, but they are very different in how they shape your tone. Here's the clear distinction. Volume is how loud the output of the pedal is, while gain is how loud the input of the pedal is. When you turn up the volume, you're taking the signal that's already there and just increasing it. But when you turn up the gain, you begin to add that grit or crunch to your sound. Seems easy, but it's not that simple. When playing into a tube amp, the volume knob not only increases the volume of the pedal, but now acts like gain to the amp. Because remember, volume is how loud the output is. So the volume coming out of your pedal is now acting like gain to your amp. With this knowledge, you can begin to understand how to develop your tone. But we're not done yet. We also need to talk about tone controls. Tone knobs control the frequency of the overdrive effect, and this can look a lot of different ways depending on what brand of overdrive pedal you have. For example, this love pedal has the glass knob on top. The M drive doesn't even have a tone knob, and some pedals have bass, mid, and treble shaping knobs. I recently had the Timmy overdrive by Paul Cochran, and it had bass and treble cut knobs, meaning when you turn the knobs all the way to the right, it was actually taking away that effect. The point is, this can all be a little confusing when you're just starting out. The good thing is there's not really a right or wrong way to use these effects as long as it sounds good to you. However, I do have a few tips on how to use your overdrive pedal. Number one, use overdrive to make a good tone great. If you're trying to use it to cover up a bad tone, you will most likely end up with an equally bad tone that just sounds different. I've seen people that are just not satisfied with their tone and instead of taking the time to dial in their amp properly, they slap on an overdrive pedal thinking that's gonna solve their problem, but I'm telling you, it doesn't work. 
The second way to use your overdrive pedal is to use it for dynamics. You can use it to stand out in the mix, like for a lead line or a solo. There are times in a song where the part that you are playing is the focus, but not the whole song. If you stay at your loudest setting, the sound guy is going to turn you down where you belong, and then you will have nowhere to go when your part comes. And bonus tip, when you're doing sound check, play something that you're gonna play that day. Give the sound tech samples of all the sounds you will be playing that day and at their correct volumes. I've seen guitar players play really lightly during sound check, only to play really loud during live play. But this tends to backfire because the sound guy notices something's different, he's going to turn you back down where you belong, and you're still not gonna have the volume that you need. So sound check the way you play. The third way to use your overdrive is to change the character of your sound. So you've been a good guitar player and you've spent time dialing in your amp before you just slap on an overdrive, good job. But just because you like the way your amp sounds doesn't mean you always want it to sound that way. Sometimes you wanna match the sound you hear on the record or the part that you're playing calls for a different sound altogether. Utilizing an overdrive pedal is a really good way to shape the character of your sound. So I'm gonna walk you through how I dial in my overdrives. But like I said earlier, one of the most important things to consider before even touching an overdrive pedal is to dial in your amp. Now there are two ways people like to run their amps, really clean or edge of breakup. Let me show you what I mean by using the amps from the HX Stomp. Right now I'm gonna play through the Grammatico Bright, which is from the preset that you can find on my website. It sounds like this. It's the edge of breakup tone. It's not that clean. Uh, it already sounds like if I were to dig in, it would already have overdriven tones. And little side note, you can get overdrive tones out of an amp. Actually, that's what overdrive pedals are doing. They're trying to replicate an overdriven amp sound. When you crank a tube amp, you get really nice overdriven tones. But there's one problem, it's really loud. So in comes the overdrive pedal to save the day. Now you can get really nice tube sounding overdriven tones without waking up the neighbors. So you've heard the edge of breakup tone and now here's a clean amp sound coming from a deluxe reverb, which is also one of my presets. It sounds like this. As you can tell, that's much cleaner. So back to thinking about amp settings. Overdrive pedals will sound very different depending on what amp they're going into or how that amp is dialed in. Think of sprinkling salt on a good ribeye. Now you're sprinkling salt on some really tasty pork chops. Man, I must be hungry. Anyways, the first step to dialing in your amp is to number one, set the volume first. The reason I do this is because you don't want the volume to drop once you engage the pedal. So I start there first and then we'll move on. So here's my original tone. And I'm gonna bring the level up to unity. See right there it's says it's at unity, but actually the pedal gets quieter when it's engaged. We don't want that. That's about right. So once you've set your volume, you can move on to step two, which is then to set your gain. Now, honestly, I like the way this overdrive pedal sounds right now with this amp, and I don't have any of the gain engaged. But we are getting more overdriven tones because like I said earlier, the volume of this pedal is hitting the tubes of the amp and it's creating more overdrive. But let's say you want more overdrive, now's the time to dial that in. That sounds pretty good. Here's a similar setting on the M drive. After you've messed with the volume and now you've messed with the gain, you may need to go make some slight adjustments to the volume again. But now you're ready for step three and that is to dial in the tone if you have that ability. The love pedal is the only one of these pedals that actually has that function and it's called the glass knob. Let's see what it sounds like. Again, this is our original tone. I'm gonna put it back down to where I would use it.
So this is the tone rolled all the way off. And this is all the way on. Kind of annoyingly crisp. So somewhere in the middle is where I would leave it. I think I go to noon and then just about noon 30. So that sounds pretty good. Once you've covered all those, you're really good to go. But there's much more that you can nerd out on. Like this pedal here has uh, switches between different diodes. You have germanium and silicon and LED diodes that make different sounds like symmetrical and asymmetrical clipping. All kinds of stuff you can nerd out on if you want to. But hopefully this video helps you understand the essentials of overdrive. The biggest takeaway for me is that overdrive is really fun. So I would say to you, go invest in a good overdrive like one of these or another one and play with it for a while, dial it in and then trade it for another one and really figure out what you like. At the end of the day, just make good music that leads people to love Jesus more. Well, that's it for this video. Hey, remember to let me know down in the comments which video to make next for this series. Thank you all for watching. Please like the video if you thought it was helpful. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when a new video comes out. And feel free to share this video with anybody that you think would benefit from it. And a special thank you to all those who already subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next video.